Hello there, Martin here at Orange Box Photography, and welcome to the channel. So today, yeah, we're going to do a little review and video of uh, my new microphone, Blue Yeti. Basically, been recording my videos off the stereo mic off the camera for a little while now. Not been overly happy with the sound, you know, it's a little bit fuzzy. So I decided, uh, after speaking to various people, looking at a lot of reviews, to be honest, Blue Yeti pretty much came out on top. Um, very, very good uh, price point, paid £100 from Amazon, so it's pretty cheap. Um, and it packs a lot in. It's a triple condenser microphone, comes with uh, four recording settings, so you can do stereo recording, cardioid recording, bi-directional, and even omnidirectional. Um, also comes with a zero latency headphone socket, which we'll have a look at in a bit. Um, so overall, it's a pretty impressive microphone. So we'll we'll get on and do uh, the unboxing. We'll have a little look at it uh, and see yeah, see what this microphone's all about. So the first thing is it's it's pretty heavy. It's uh, it's got a sizable weight to it. Now that's going to be a good thing for a microphone, especially one that's going to be sitting on a stand, because um, at least it will hold itself under its own weight, so it shouldn't wobble around too much. So let's get it out of its box and we'll have a little look at the uh, microphone. Um, so basically the um, microphone comes with a uh, USB cable, so you can plug it in. Um, comes with the uh, instruction manual as well. Um, for those people who like to read instructions, there it is. Um, you know, it seems pretty comprehensive. I don't know if I'll use it. I must admit, not a fan of instruction manuals. They're there if I need them, but don't really use them. So let's uh, get this out. Yeah, so uh, quite a bit of uh, packaging in here. Um, well protected, lots of polystyrene. So for, for those people out there that are um, watching the environment, not be too happy. A lot of polystyrene in this box, but it means your microphone's going to come to you in one piece and not be broken. And that's uh, an important thing. So let's get that out of there. So there it is. Um, silicon gel. So uh, there's the Blue Yeti microphone. Um, we'll give you a little bit of a close-up of it. Uh, so we'll bring it over to the camera. There we go. I'll give it a turn around for you as well so you can see the back and uh, the bottom. So you can see this, uh, the, the jack, so you can uh, listen to it on headset, zero latency, uh, so well, that's going to be good. And now this can be removed from this stand, um, and you can mount it on a, on a separate uh, stand, but I think what's on, for my purposes, I'm just going to leave it on here. Um, comes with little rubber feet, so uh, it should uh, help dampen down any vibrations from your desk or wherever you happen to be keeping it. Um, I have had a few people say that that isn't enough and you do still get some vibration, but we'll have a look at it when we test it and just uh, see how that turns out. If not, I'm sure we can find something to stick it on. Um, now, uh, basically, first impressions is it's, it's pretty nice. It's a good microphone. Um, a lot of people have complained about uh, the buttons on this, but I must admit the ones uh, on the back seem pretty yeah, pretty good. Um, volume button. Uh, yeah, no, the volume button. Little little bit of play in there. But uh, still, at £400, you can't really grumble. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll get this plugged in, um, we'll have a listen and we'll see what this sounds like uh, with this microphone plugged in. So uh, we'll leave it there and I'll be back in a second and we'll, we'll have a listen to see what this uh, bad boy sounds like. Hi, so this is uh, the, the audio coming from uh, the new Blue Yeti microphone. Um, currently I have it in cardioid setting. Um, so what I thought we'd do is uh, change through the different settings and give you guys uh, you know, a chance to hear what it actually sounds like uh, through the different settings. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to switch it into the stereo mode first. So uh, this is the microphone now set in its stereo setting. Um, so pretty much it should give you a nice stereo recording. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it should be pretty, pretty good. So if we move along and move that uh, into um, Omnidirect. Now this will pick up sound um, all around the mic. Um, so it's good if you're recording groups of people, you know, whether it be vocals and things like that. Um, so that should be a good setting for that. Now if we change that now and put it into uh, bi-directional. Now bi-directional is going to be really good if you're doing one-on-one -on -one interviews. Um, and that kind of thing. So we just switch that over to bi-directional now. Um, right, so we're, we're in bi-directional. So as you can see now, it's picking me up from the front of the microphone. Now if we turn this around slowly, you should find that the volume slowly goes down until we start getting to the back of the microphone again. And then the volume should come back. And then as we go around further a little bit more, and the volume should drop away a little bit more. And then until you get all the way back round to the front, 
and then we should be back to normal. So we're uh, pretty good for interviews. Uh, if we just switch that back to Cardoid a second. There we go. So that's back in Cardoid. Um, now let's uh, let's have a look and see what it's like for vibration. So if uh, we just rock that around a little bit, it's, uh, it seems pretty sturdy. Um, I can't see any issues from uh, the rubbery feet. And so it looks like it, it should do a pretty decent job of damping out any vibrations coming through the mic. I mean, obviously, if you if you give the mic a, a move around like that, you can hear it. It'll pick up that uh, that volume. But uh, overall, very impressed. Um, we're going to have a little play with it, see how things go with it. Uh, but uh, any questions you guys have got, please feel free to comment below, email me. You can get in touch at orangebox321 at gmail.com. And that's it for now, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.